Hello guys, one question. Did you know that Luke Kang gains power when on fire? I didn't even know about this. Maybe it's been there forever, I'm not sure. But it says nothing about this in his passive. Shout out to Shadows for telling me about this. So today we have a special one, unlimited shaining, unlimited power. What else can I say? Unlimited healing. No, unlimited double healing actually. Unlimited block break maybe? I don't know. Anyway, you saw the gear. I'm gonna explain the gear. More details in the battle. Shang and Reptile for support. These epics doesn't have to be maxed. And uh, the talents. The ones that are maxed are important. The other ones doesn't really matter. And uh, let's do this. So, I have the Kitsune, right? This one gives me 70% chance of fear on special one. I have the Tin Hat, 30% power cost reduction on special one. And if we get the fear, it's gonna tag out. That's why we have the Treasured Freebie. Okay, it did not tag out. Because on opponents tagging, we gain power. I use this strategy on Classic Scorpion. But this one is a bit different. And he blocks now, that's why we have Forbidden Book, because we have special attack unblockable chance. So I'm gonna explain this step by step. Special one, immediately two hits, even he tags out. You see that two hits, and another special one. Immediate two hits, it doesn't matter where he is, it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter if he tags out. Two hits again, special one. You can shame this forever. Even if he blocks, even if he tags out, whatever, it doesn't matter. They are stuck in this loop. And every time we are on fire, we gain power. Now, quite slow, because I think on the last bar of power, you generate slower, but if you are under two bars or even one bar, you will gain power even faster and every time we do a special one we have 70% chance of fear if we get the fear we get even more power from the opponent's tagging and also because reptiles passive applying poison on people that tags in we also have chance of power from his epic piece and on top of that Shang's passive. Every time we do a special one, they take extra damage and we're healing. So we double healing from Shang's passive and from the fire. And because I have the bowling stones, we have unblockable chance on basic attacks. And then because I have the forbidden book, we also have unblockable chance on special attacks. And because Luke Kang Special 1 have so many mini hits, the chance of you breaking the block is super high. As you can see here, twice in a row, he blocks again. Let's see if we can break it. Yeah, of course. We constantly have over two bars of power, all the time, unlimited power. And he blocks, and we're gonna break the block. Oh no, maybe we don't, okay, it's okay. It doesn't matter, like I said, even if they block. Let's see if he can block again, and we just keep chaining, it doesn't matter. And we break the block. And uh, I think you can go back to the beginning of this video when I did not have too much power, then you will be able to see the power generation from the fire. Because it seems to me, okay, he blocks everything now again. He blocks again. And we just keep chaining. Yeah, so the power generation, okay, we under two bars now. Pay attention to the power bar. See, We're generating power. And let's see now. The power just increasing. 
while doing nothing. And also, you saw in the beginning when I showed the gear, I had a few slots with nothing. Meaning you can increase this strategy. You can replace the forbidden book with any other gear that gives unblockable special attacks. If you have Demon's Fire on high fusion, you get even more percent. I think it's 40% maxed out. And then on Shang, you can use some gear that gives better damage, maybe critical hit damage, Bayonet, Jump Rope Song, or even Ceremonial Pipe. More damage means more healing. And on Reptile, you can use gear that increases the damage from the poison. And uh, I mean, there's so many different variations. You can just experiment and you don't need to have maxed gear. That's the thing. Of course, maxed gear will make it better, but it still works without it. And again, I'm still shaming. I still haven't been hit even once. Just by doing one, two, special one. Alright, so I'm gonna speed this up while I'm doing the outro. Classic Liu Kang, one of my most used characters for a long time, especially in the beginning of my Mortal Kombat mobile journey. And I don't really use him a lot now because I have so many other strategies to have fun with. But every time I use him, it just reminds me of how good he really is. Do you have any insane strategies with Classic Liu Kang? Let me know in the comments. I hope you like this video. Take care. See you next time.